have Pisces, this will be a general reading for you. At the end of your reading, around like 10 minutes, I'm going to do Pisces, dealing with all signs, and I'll timestamp it for you in the comment section, okay? I'll split the deck we have the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Alright, what do Pisces? I need to know, wow, the High Priestess just came right back out. Okay, I'm not going to take it though. Pisces, please. Page of Wands. We have good news coming in. Pisces. Oh my gosh. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know? Seven of Pentacles. The sun. Oh my goodness. One more for Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles. Wow, I'm pretty sure that was in your last reading. Pisces, it looks like you're getting good news here. And the good news is coming from somebody specific, okay? Could be a fire sign. It could be a Leo. Could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But Ace of Cups, Pisces, someone has a lot of love for you or you them. Seven of Pentacles, something is happening here in divine timing. The sun, illumination, you're going to be so happy. Eight of Pentacles, money, looks good. This person, whoever they are, they want to build, work, collaborate, grow with you. Let's get some clarifications out here. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the page of wands here for Pisces? <laughs> the lovers, I fucking knew it. I knew it. Why is the ace of cups here? Somebody's waking up to this soulmate connection that you guys share, Pisces. Wow. And someone's ready to follow their heart. The fool. Their heart is leading them to you here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Pisces? The world. Wow. Something is changing here. If you're not at a physical distance from this person, it could be just like an emotional distance. That somebody or you are trying to work really hard to close out this distance here. Pisces, this person sees you as their world. Look at all these major arcana. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here for Pisces? The sun. The seven of wands. Interesting. Either somebody is feeling very, very determined. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. They're feeling very determined to make this work here. There might be some obstacles. There might be some obstacles here. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces? Wow, Six of Swords. Yeah. There might be some obstacles um, about moving forward. Okay, but it will be happening. The world is number 21. Pisces this year is number 2021. 20, You're going to be in a very serious soulmate connection relationship i'm not too sure if that's what it's going to lead to here a, re a solid relationship 
but that's what this eight of pentacles is it's building something stable and solid six of swords so you two here in this boat can move forward okay but what are the obstacles what are the obstacles that this person might be facing here Why is the Seven of Wands here for Pisces? Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Hangman. Pisces energy. <clears throat> you could be feeling very stuck about this situation. Needing to make a decision here, Pisces. We have the Ace of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is what this is leading to. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Wow. And the Ace of Cups here, Pisces. Pisces, if you are feeling stuck about this situation, I just want you to know seven of pentacles the world something is happening in divine timing okay so just continue to be patient continue to be this hangman maybe try to gain some more enlightenment okay point to spirit okay maybe you need to start doing some more meditating some more yoga even why is the hangman here's give me one card for the hangman please and then we're gonna wow the king of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could be making you feel stuck. We have a Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. This Knight of Swords is quick, fast, moving, ready to come in and be a little bit reckless. Page of Pentacles. This is some sort of wow, the moon, Pisces. Today is going to be very significant for you moving forward. You know, the moon is your card you represent the moon okay today is the full moon august 22nd all right page of pentacles you are going to be receiving a solid offer a solid offer whether it has to do with somebody coming in and wanting to offer you love money okay a relationship you're gonna figure that out there's something being presented to you especially with the page of wands and the page of Pentacles it could be a new project um, it could be you know this match made in heaven here this also might be saying you have two offers coming in here Pisces two offers um, Two off, wow, yeah, look at that, King of Wands here. King of Swords, King of Wands, yep, there's two offers. Ooh, being presented, and why did this just, like, come out like this? We have the Two of Wands, the Magician, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the King of Wands. Hmm, I feel like this needs to be talked about. It looks like that first option is more more worthy because look at this two of wands the magician three of swords seven of swords somebody's lying about something here and trying to be manipulative this magician hmm let's see let's clarify what's going on with this with this king of wands person They're definitely thinking about something in the future here. This person could be doing magic with this crystal ball and the two of wands here. Let's see. <clears throat> Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? What does Pisces need to know about this two of wands? Why is the two of wands here? Why 
Queen of Cups, wow. Look at you, Pisces. This person is thinking about you. You're thinking about them. Pisces, you're the one who could be doing magic here. Let's see. Why is the magician here? Wow, Knight of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Four of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven? Oh my gosh. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh my gosh, Pisces, I think you might need to um, emotionally emotionally withdraw from this person. Four of Cups, I think that this is your advice. Okay? Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, Pisces, this could be representing you, your energy. You could be trying to manifest this person um, into your life. You could be trying to manifest this connection into your life four of wands this is some sort of soulmate connection here some sort of reunion of two souls that you're trying to get to that you're trying to manifest okay unfortunately though with the three of swords the seven of swords the five of swords here this is nasty ass behavior i honestly want to say this person might be acting they might be trying to tell you everything you want to hear, Pisces, Nine of Cups. But the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, this is betrayal. This is somebody tiptoeing around, being sneaky. Five of Swords, it has something to do. I don't know if it has something to do with them trying to like take revenge revenge somebody i don't know if somebody wants to punish you for something pisces this person is acting in a type of way that would be considered manipulative sneaky not good this person's selfish why is the five no why is the Seven of Swords here again? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Wow. Expect the truth to come out here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? This person is all up in their head. Yep. Look at this. Text messages, phone calls, emails being presented to you, Pisces. Look at this. We have the King of Swords and the Star. Could be an Aquarius. We have the Judgment here as well. There is some shit being revealed to you, Pisces. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Five of Swords. Ten of Wands. Somebody's feeling very overburdened. Very obsessive, too, here. Hmm. See what happens when you're selfish? This person can be a Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, very strong fire in their chart. Also, a lot of air that I'm seeing. Wow. All right, you tell me what's up with this. We're going to do you dealing with all signs, okay? All right, Pisces dealing with Aries. <clears throat> Pisces dealing with Aries. Pisces, don't Aries, wow. You could work with this person, you might be fighting with them at work. 
Oh, this person's busy, focused, worried on their money here. Wow, look at that. These two cards were in your first reading, okay? If there's any fighting going on with you in this Aries, they're trying to end it. They're trying to come in with like a different approach than maybe how they usually do, which is really forceful. They want this connection to work, okay? Don't be surprised if you hear from them. Pisces, sign with Taurus. Pisces, sign with Taurus. Pisces, sign with Taurus. Wow, look at that. King of Pentacles. Pisces, sign with Taurus. Oh my gosh. You have your back to turn to this person. And this person's looking straight ahead. All right, judgment. I see some stuff being presented and revealed to you, maybe about this person or maybe from this person, okay? I think they want to come in and talk to you about some things, Pisces. Um, wow, and I was, I was, oh my gosh. I was just going to say, Pisces, it is the full moon today. So don't be expected. If this circle here turns into one of these pinnacles or, you know, this judgment horn, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Pisces dealing with Gemini. Pisces dealing with Gemini. Wow. Pisces dealing with Gemini. Wow. Look at that. You could be at a distance from this person if it's not a physical distance, it's just an emotional distance and they're having a really hard time. Nine of Swords, this is their energy. They're having a lot of anxiety, a lot of fears. Why? Maybe because this ended, you guys broke up and you are not um, maybe presenting yourself like how they want you to here. Okay? There was definitely an ending between the two of you. All right, they might be really tripping, worried because they want it to come back around. But Nine of Swords, they're trapped in their head, full of fear. Pisces dealing with Cancer. Pisces dealing with Cancer. Wow. Pisces dealing with Cancer. Wow. Look at that. You and this Cancer share a very strong soulmate connection. Look at how these people are looking at each other here. Alright, there might be some hidden information um, that needs to come out because of this black smoke in the background. Okay, but I think it will be coming out because of the sun. This is illumination. This person really loves you and you love them too. <clears throat> Pisces dealing with Leo. Wow, Leo right there. Pisces dealing with Leo. Death again, oh my gosh. And more Pisces soon with Leo. Wow. Strength card, Leo energy, Pisces. There could have been some sort of ending between the two of you. And look at this rose. This rose is here to signify um, a brand new beginning. And look at Ten of Pentacles. This person could be trying to hold back themselves, trying to really tame how they feel about you. You might awaken this beast inside of them, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles, though. They want abundance with you here. One more Pisces thing with Leo. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very slow moving offer, okay? This person could have a little bit of a depressive issue. Okay, but look at this. 
Six of Pentacles, this scale being balanced. This person wants equal give and take with you. Look at this, Eight of Pentacles. They want to build and grow this relationship, Pisces. The Strength card is also number eight. Look at that. The Lovers and the Devil. This is a match made in heaven. The Devil here signifying this person might be obsessed with you, you, them. Page of Cups expect a love message wow that's a loyal love message you might not be expecting it that's what the page of cups means it's an unexpected love message pisces dealing with virgo pisces dealing with virgo eight of wands pisces dealing with virgo wow ten of wands and the Emperor. Okay. This Virgo is displaying a lot of fire energy. This Virgo could have Aries in their chart, but Eight of Wands, text messages, phone calls, emails. This person wants to communicate with you, and it could be them wanting to communicate with you um, about how they're having a hard time. Maybe outside of this connection. This person also, I can see that they could be very obsessed with you, Pisces. And very persistent on wanting to make this relationship work. There could be distance between the two of you. Like you might have to cross water to be with each other. <clears throat> Pisces dealing with Libra. Pisces dealing with Libra. Two of Cups again. Pisces dealing with Libra. Wow. Pisces dealing with Libra. Okay. Looks like you have you could have emotionally withdrawn from this person because they were acting like the Knight of Wands. They were acting um, only in it for, you know, the physical aspect. They were only in it for sex. Basically, maybe that's why you withdrawn. You do share a very strong connection though, okay? Yeah, someone's feeling left out here in the cold. Knight of Wands are just not ready for commitment here. Pisces, son with Scorpio. Pisces, son with Scorpio. Pisces, son with Scorpio. Wow, look at that. Death in the second position again, Scorpio energy. Pisces dealing with Scorpio. Look at that. King of Wands is here looking. If this person, <clears throat> if you guys broke up, if you, if this person has retreated, reflected from you, Pisces, Four of Swords, you know, it's essentially somebody not talking. So you guys might not be in communication. Turns as of right now, this King of Wands, this Scorpio has some fire in their chart, could have some air in their chart too. They're thinking about this ending. Ace of Cups, thinking about how much they love you. Ten of Cups, thinking about how badly they want this emotional fulfillment, this stability with you, Pisces. Look at that. And there you go, King of Swords. There's your other option you have in the sidelines. <laughs> Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. Page of Cups, wow. Wow, look at this. The King of Wands came out again with the Ace of Cups. Sagittarius is missing you. They're missing you bad and they're worried that when they come in, you might not be accept, accepting this. I could also see this as Pisces. You came in trying to give your love to this person and they rejected it. And now they're worried. Pisces dealing with Capricorn. Pisces dealing with Capricorn. Pisces sitting with Capricorn. Wow. 
Wow. Three of Swords, but I'm going to take it reversed. Wow. Pisces Sling with Capricorn. Wow. Look at this. King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy. If this person was trying to hide anything from you, it's coming out here. The Three of Swords reversed, though, Pisces. You might think that this person is um, trying to deceive you, betray you, but that's not the case here. I could also see this as somebody needs to heal their heart and be honest with this person about maybe still needing to do some healing before this relationship can take off. Pisces sling with Aquarius. Pisces sling with Aquarius. The Tower. The Six of Swords. Wow. You're definitely going to be learning something new. This could also be indicating this is only the beginning of your guys' relationship. You might not be expecting to learn something that you do. Okay, but Six of Swords, you two are moving forward. If not mentally, then physically. There's progression here. And this is only the beginning to your relationship. Pisces, dealing with Pisces. Pisces, dealing with Pisces. Wow, look at all the Pisces energy. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, and look at this. King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This person could be planning something sneaky, but planning something sneaky to your benefit. Okay. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. Somebody has walked away somebody has walked away here but it's not over somebody might have um somebody might have taken a step back and be, and took a step back and hangman suspended themselves Somebody took a step back to maybe gain some more information, gain some enlightenment on a situation. Okay? There's love here, though. No doubt about it in my mind. Okay? Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, let me know. I'll see you in your next one.